A car travels from Dino's Den to work in two hours. Eight hours later, it returns to Dino's Den at a speed 20 miles per hour less than its speed going due to rain. If it has gone a total of 13 hours, how fast did it travel on each leg of the trip and how far did it travel one way? First, we always want to set up a table with three columns and two rows. Then, label the top D for distance, R for rate, and T for time. And for this problem, you would want to work or to go and to Dino's Den or return on the side. Now we fill in the appropriate information. We always fill in what we know first, if possible. We do know the car travels to work in two hours. Fill it in. Next sentence. Eight hours later, mm, we will wait on that. It returns to Dino's Den at a speed of 20 miles per hour less than its speed going due to rain. Mm, we don't know the rates or the speeds for the go and return. We must assign or declare an unknown variable. In this case, R for rate or speed but it must be for to work or go first. We could do let r equals rate traveling to work or go, and r minus 20 equals rate traveling to Dino's Den or return. And we fill them in, r and r minus 20. The next sentence after that, if it has gone a total of 13 hours, okay, 13 hours total, we're going to do the scratch work on the side of the page here. So 13 hours total must include two hours traveling from Dino's Den to work, eight hours working. Therefore, three hours left must be for driving back to Dino's Den. Now we continue with the table. Fill in three hours traveling to Dino's Den. Continuing on, since distance equals to rate times time, we can finish filling in the distance column. Thus, distance to work is 2 times r, and distance back to Dino's Den is 3 times r minus 20. And finally, we can set up an equation and solve. Since the distance to work is the same as the distance back to Dino's Den, we equate the distances. Now we have an equation. By distributing 3, we have 2r equals 3r minus 60. Add both sides by 60, we get 2r plus 60 equals 3r. Next, subtract both sides by 2r, and we get 60 equals r. And we had it earlier that r is the rate traveling to work or go. That's one leg of the trip. Now. For the rate traveling back to Dino's Den, that's 20 miles per hour less, so it's 60 minus 20 equals 40, the other leg of the trip. And for the final question, how far did it travel one way? Again, from the table, in the distance column, it doesn't matter the term or expression to use to represent how far it traveled one way. 
They're also in the equation. Just pick one, either 2 times r and substitute in 60 and get 120 miles, or 3 times r minus 20 and substitute in 60 to also get 120 miles. The distance traveled one way.